I'm at my desk. I can't pay my bills. I can't pay the rent. I'm in a position right there where I need work to come through. We lost all of our work in 2008. And at the same time, we started doing rocket parts for America's favorite rocket company down in Southern California. And and the jobs were like picking up and picking up and picking up, but it just wasn't enough. And the work was so complicated that only a portion of my team and myself could actually do those parts. So there are still other people that didn't have any work to do. And I just needed more parts. Even if it's aerospace, I just needed more parts. I literally was at that desk and I'm praying, Lord, please help me through this time. Please bring a way and give me the ability to pay my rent, to pay my bills, to get out of it. Please save this company. And I get a call. And the person on the other line, hey, Titan, this is Jim from Blue. And I was like, Blue who? It is like Blue Origin. And I'd never heard that name. And I said, well, it's nice to meet you, Jim. And I start selling the company. Hey, we've got such and such machines and this experience. And if you have any quotes that I can take care of, I will definitely quote them, get right back to you, give you great prices. I start selling them. And he's like, whoa, 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 Titan, this is Jim from, I don't want to say the name, America's favorite rocket company down in Southern California. And I'm like, oh, Jim. Oh, that's crazy. So you're not there and you're up here? And he's like, yeah, and we're doing the B3 engine, the first engine ever, and we need vendors, and we have some issues and different things, and you've done such a great job. I figure I would just contact you and see if you had any availability. And I was like, absolutely. I would love to work with you. All of a sudden, I was in despair. I was suffering. I had no hope, and I was in prayer And then just an hour later, I have prints coming through my email. Crazy jobs. I don't want to go into all the details, but we're talking Monel and Inconel and A286 and 15.5 and crazy features and true positioning and everything off of datums, like crazy jobs. And I was just looking at it. I I was like, this is absolutely amazing. And I quoted it, we started running parts, and we started delivering parts, and we started bringing in more money. And uh, this is pre-Malibu. Remember, Malibu saves my company. We were making all these aerospace parts. It just wasn't enough. But when Blue stepped in, all of a sudden, we had hope. Now, here's something that a lot of you guys don't know. There was a period in 2009 Coming out of this whole thing, I was just desperate. I always knew there was a purpose for the company. I always knew I wanted to serve the industry, that I wanted to teach people to compete. I wanted to have this whole life mission attached to the company. But at that time, after laying off 40 employees, I just wanted to escape. I wanted to secure jobs for my employees and I just wanted to escape. The the mountain was too big. I was in talks with Blue Origin and Blue Origin hadn't, didn't have their own machine shop yet. And they were like, hey, Titan, maybe we'll purchase your machine shop. And I was like, that would be awesome. And, and, and I started dreaming about working for another company, a company that's going to space. They gave me a bunch of parts and said, if you can perform and do these parts and do an amazing job, we'll really consider actually purchasing your company. And at that time, I had the big old Toyota, horizontal, crazy, just get after it, take off titanium, ink and L, all that. At that time, we were all about it. And uh, I stepped in there, me and my team, and we made these parts. We literally spit shined them. We polished them. We created jewelry. And uh, throughout 2009, we actually came through and delivered absolute perfect parts. Coming to the end of the year, I was so excited because at the end of the year, I was going to have that talk with Blue Origin. And right when I had that talk with Blue Origin, they actually said, hey, Titan, you delivered amazing parts, but we're not going to purchase your company but we're gonna be a great customer 
to you. And I looked at it and you guys know the story. A lot of you guys know the story. If you guys don't, go to vlogs 19, 20, and 21 on our YouTube channel. It is the craziest story of all time. I always wanted great customers, but at that time I didn't need a customer. I needed somebody to purchase my company because I had no options. And I came out of that meeting, got on my floor, and I just gave it up to the Lord. And I said, I got nothing. Take the shop. Make me homeless. Make me anything. I give it all up and, and crazy things happen within days. Again, go to those vlogs. It's an amazing story. Today, we're in Texas. Today, I have twin babies that were born just a year after that all went down. Today, we have 150,000 students learning for free on our academy. Today, we're huge on YouTube and Instagram and Facebook. Millions of people are following in us. We're bringing out CNC Expert. We're going to make it free. It is going to be absolutely incredible. We're going to lift up the industry. Everything that the company was built for is happening. But in my weakness... Leaning upon my own understanding. Back then in 2009, right at 2010, I was willing to give it all up. All that I had been created for, all the dreams that I ever had, I was willing to give it all up for an easy life. But that's not what I got. I got a hard life. I had to go through walls and valleys. I had to go through the darkness. But today I'm incredibly thankful. And, and I just wanted to say this a quick message. That, that little story, I don't, I don't think I've ever told that story that Blue Origin was actually going to purchase my company. And they became a great customer. And we just had a great relationship until I decided and my company decided that we're going to dedicate ourselves to industry and education and curriculum and bringing awareness into our kids and helping companies compete so they didn't have to go through what we went through. It is a crazy thing, but it has all worked out perfectly. And there's no way that I would ever give up anything today. Today is about changing this industry. It's about moving forward. I've learned my lessons. And it's just a word to all of you guys out there. No matter what comes against you, no matter how hard it is, even if you can't see through the darkness, have the courage to take the next step and keep doing the right thing. Keep in prayer, keep solid with your family, keep moving forward. The shade, the darkness will fade. You will go back into the light. The sun will rise again and hold on to those dreams and those visions. The ones that are embedded in you that nobody else can feel, but you know, this is your purpose. This is your God-given purpose. Fight for them and run after them no matter what. And they will happen. But like in all things, you'll have to go through the struggle first. And it's just part of the process of life. Boom. I love you guys. I love this trade. Boom.